Hello my dear students, how are you all doing today? I hope you all are fine and I am back again with the next update from the NTA that the dress code for NEET 2024 exam. So now you have to follow the dress code that has been given by the NTA for a frisking free entry into the examination hall. So what are the things that is allowed inside the examination hall and what all is banned, we will have a quick review of those particular items. So let us get started. The first thing, the dress code for the male candidates. What all things are allowed inside the examination hall are, first thing you have to wear a half sleeves t-shirt or shirt, preferably wear a t-shirt which is simple plain and without any heavy embroideries or without any big buttons. Use a small buttoned t-shirt. Then wear sandals and slippers. You have simple sandals and slippers at home. So wear those slippers for the smooth entry into the examination hall because what is banned I will discuss with you in the upcoming slides. Trousers, jeans is not allowed. So you have to wear light colored trousers which is having the simple zippers and simple pockets. Big pockets and big buttons in the trousers is also not allowed. Then for our Sikh candidates following the customary dress code, turbans, kada and kripan is permitted. You all can wear the turbans which is light colored if you, possible, preferably a light colored turban. You can wear a kada also and you can keep the kripan with you. Next, what is not allowed? You have to focus on this slide more because this is strictly not allowed. Otherwise, you will be withheld outside the examination center and that would create lot of panic because you cannot keep these items anywhere inside the examination hall that has already been declared by the NTA that they would not provide any uh, safe or any place where you can keep these items. So, first thing, Please do not wear full sleeves t-shirts or shirts. Avoid wearing them. Actually do not avoid us. You have to strictly prohibit yourself for wearing these full sleeves shirts or t-shirts. Then shoes not allowed. Strictly not allowed. Only wear sip, simple slippers or sandals. Then jeans or baggy pants. Again, these are not allowed. Baggy pants, those pants which have seven pockets, five pockets, big zippers, big, big, big uh, pockets at all the sides, not allowed. Then kurta pajamas. Obviously, you are not going to attend any wedding ceremony, so avoid wearing any kurta pajamas. Do not go into any ethnic feel. You have to go and give your exam. So just go very, very in a casual uniform that is simple, light colored half sleeves t-shirt or shirt and simple trousers with chappals. Then coming to the female candidates, what is allowed and again what is not allowed. Same, you can wear half sleeves salwar kameez. This is clearly mentioned in the guidelines that girls have to wear half sleeves simple salwar kameez. You cannot wear heavy embroidered salwar kameez, any type of sleeveless tops, crop tops, tank tops or any type of designer tops is not allowed. So please wear a simple half sleeves salwar kameez, again with sandals and chappals with which are very very low in heels, prefer flats, do not use any heels in your footwears. Then coming to the Muslim candidates, again as the customary dress, burqas are allowed. And coming to the mask, you have to carry a mask as per the COVID guidelines. Usually in the kit, the NEET also provides you the mask at the centers. But it is always safer to carry a mask with you, both the male and the female candidates. Next, what is not allowed? Again, similar to male candidates, you are also banned from wearing full sleeves, shirts or t-shirts. Shoes. Shoes is clearly banned for both the males and the female candidates. Jeans, leggings, plazos, jeggings, 
everything which have pockets or which is body hugging is not allowed so please wear simple salwar kameez and ornaments now ornaments includes everything chains earrings uh, you have bracelets watches please toe rings piles then anklets please do not wear any such ornaments because they will ask you to take it off and that would create last minute panic so avoid wearing any such ornaments to the exam center then coming to the accessories that are been banned coming one by one notebooks stationery items everything is banned no pens pencils erasers any sort of stationery to be carried to the examination center caps is strictly prohibited then hoodies not allowed cameras goggles smartphones bluetooth devices electronic devices pen drives you have not to carry anything to the to, to the examination center then you can you don't have to carry your laptops or you don't have to carry any pouches to the examination center even if you are carrying your medicines in case if you are diabetic you can carry your medicines in a transparent pouch with a transparent water bottle no water bottles for the normal candidates to be carried so you don't have to carry any food items also to the examination center so just a brief recap for male candidates wear half sleeves t-shirts or shirts with simple formal trousers without having big pockets or zippers or big buttons you have to wear flats sandals or chappals and you don't have to carry any food items with you or any electronic items with you or any stationery with you then for the sikh uh, candidates you can wear your turbans you can wear your kada and kripan for female candidates same uniform simple sal half sleeve salwar kameez then you can carry the muslim candidates can wear the, wear the burqas ornaments are strictly prohibit, prohibited so follow this dress code religiously so that you are being cleared from the frisking and you can avoid any last minute panic before the your main exam so all the best and do well in your upcoming neat 2024 thank you